Hi dancers and welcome to week one. Today we're gonna learn the exercises and then we're going to go ahead and embark on our journey to strengthening our feet and our ankles. The first exercise we're gonna do is great toe or big toe dorsiflexion. So we're gonna take a band that's just open. You can anchor it into your door if you have a door that you're working in front of and just shut the band in the door or you can tie them around a couple dumbbells and then bring it around your big toe. Well, I want you to get to the point where your big toe is actually getting pulled into flexion and being bent over as such. So you're gonna straighten out the leg and you'll feel that toe is getting pulled there. And then I want you to sit up nice and tall. Always remember posture is very important even if we're working on the foot and ankle. And then you're gonna pull that big toe back away from the resistance, not the ankle, just the big toe, and then slowly bring it back towards the resistance. Don't crunch it under, just relax it as it comes back towards the direction of resistance. We're gonna do 10 of these, ready? One, two, three, four, Now you'll see this band right here. You can literally just throw this in the opposite direction. I'm just trying to get it out of the way um, because you wanna make sure that you're not pulling in the opposite direction there. Let's go ahead and do our second round of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, See my ankle's neutral here, so keep it neutral. Don't ring, wing in or out. Nine and 10. Third round for this week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay, great job. Go ahead and let those toes out. And now you're gonna put the outer four toes in the band. And you can anchor this down at the other end here underneath your device that you're keeping it stable on. And we're gonna pull out to the point where, again, it feels like we're bending our toes down and you're just gonna relax them to start and we're gonna pull the toes back and we're gonna do 10 of these, two sets of 10 for week one. One, two, three, four, control going forward, five, six, seven, eight, and 10. Okay, relax. Round two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, relax. And round three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. You should feel those muscles on the top of the foot working every time you do that. Okay, let's switch to the other side, starting with the big toe and pulling back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Relax. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Great job. Let's switch to the outer four now. And go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Relax. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, relax. Okay, so the next exercise we're gonna do are called lateral arch lifts. And we're gonna take this band, flatten it on the ground, step on it, make sure it's going around the ball of your foot and your midfoot here, and we're gonna tie it. And then it space your feet apart enough that your arches actually are gonna roll in and flatten here, and then your pressure is all gonna be on your big toe. What I want you to do is I want you to think about lifting the arches, spreading out those toes so there's a tripod between the big toe, little toe, and the middle of the foot here. We do not want us to roll out and then lift up the big toe from the floor. We want to have equal contact between the front of the foot and the midfoot here, okay? So as you feel, the arches will roll in, toes are pointed forward, and we're gonna lift up the arches and press through the feet, spreading those toes out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. Second time, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and relax. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, relax. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, relax. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, relax. One more time, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, relax. Good work, go ahead and take that band off. Okay, regardless of level, I do want you to face um, either a chair or the bar and then do this at the bar. So you're gonna be parallel with your feet. You're going to rise up on two feet. Make sure those ankles are not rolling in or out. And you wanna make sure that the heels are ascending up to the sky. So really think about the heels rising up towards your pelvis. Don't lean back. So we're not going back like this. We're thinking forward and up diagonally lifting on those toes for the heel rise. So watch the alignment, pressing up, and we're gonna transfer the weight to one foot, and you're going to slowly lower down, making sure that leg stays in neutral parallel. You don't roll out or in again. And we're gonna do it again, and then switch the leg, and then slowly lower down, think of the heel staying neutral with the Achilles. Ready, and one, two, really slowly lower down here, 
hold your core in three. Four. Feeling great, keep breathing. Five. Six. Seven. One more, you got this. And eight. Pump those ankles up and down. Just relax. And then ready to go again. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Try to let your leg do as much of the work as possible. Don't just fall down. Seven. And eight. Great job, let's move on. This one is called Fondue Forced Arch. So you're going to come up in releve, keep the spine in neutral, and you're gonna plie in forced arch, trying to stay over the balls of the feet. So when we're doing this, we don't want to rock backwards when we bend our knees, right? We want to stay forward over the feet in this releve position, trying to stay up high on the toes, but not clenching and going into that three quarter point, we're still in demi point or in releve position. All right, so go ahead, keep those knees, sending them over the toes, light grip on the bar, and you're gonna go down eight times. One, and up, and two, and up, and three, and up. Equal weight, don't let them roll. Four, and up, and five, and up, and six, and up, and seven, and up, one more, eight, and up, lower down. Ready again, one, and up, and two, and up, and three, and up, and four, and up, five, and up, Six, and up, seven, and up, one more eight, and up and lower. Okay, we're gonna go to first position and we're going to first do some tondus. I want you to really think about pushing into the floor. Really push the heel, feel the ball of the foot, then go up to the top of the toe and roll back through and really feel the foot hit the floor as you close in the adductors firing. We're gonna do that eight times on each side. Ready? Going push the floor. And this won't be pretty, but it's okay. We're really working the feet and roll back down. That's one. Push the floor. Your personal turnout, two. And in. Push the floor. And in. Push the floor, and in. Front of the thigh, pulled up, and in. Push the floor, and in. Push the floor, 
and in one more push the floor and in. other side and remember don't take your weight out to your tondu go push the floor and in that's one push the floor and in that's two push three push four push and five push and six push and seven push and eight grab a band and loop it around go ahead and put it around your legs get the resistance so that when you're in a tondu you have the ability to get up onto your tondu still like you were before but that it's still a little bit more difficult than it was without the band. So you're gonna tondu to second position. In this position, pull up and really feel the engagement of the lower body in the in middle of the core. Go ahead and drop the toe down to the ball of the foot, and you're going to use the intrinsics to push back up over the toe, and then roll back down to the ball of the foot. Hold those turnout muscles, hold the core. Ready? And one, and down, two, and down, three, and down, four, and down, five, and down, six, and down, seven, and down. Don't crunch the toes, just lifting the ball of the foot up. So not crunching over and pushing into those knuckles. Other side, one, and down two and down three and down four and down five and down six don't pop off the floor either seven and eight another thing you don't want to do is going like this with your hips it's all in the intrinsics ready for round ready again and one and up and two and up Band three, and up, band four, and up, band five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, keep breathing, three, four, five, six, seven, Great job today, dancers. Now it's time to move on to the stretch and recovery playlist. 